Welcome to the School of Earth Magic, young wizard. From the look of the soil on your boots, you're from Wizard City, right? I am Professor Drawers. Chester Drawers. What? Why are you smirking? At any rate, I teach Earth Magic here at Pigswick Academy. Magic of ground, growth, and the untamed wild. Because my school is that of the Earth, I find it stifling to teach inside, so I lecture outside whenever possible. Other schools teach flights of fancy and arcane manipulation of ethereal flummery, but Earth Magic is the magic of the real. From Earth came all things, and eventually, all shall return to its clutches. Unless you have further questions, I really must return to my duties. So many papers to grade. Hello there! Did I surprise you? I'll wager you're thinking, whoa, is that a Yeti? Teaching? I'd never expect that! Chaos! That's the sort of thing I teach here! I am Professor Hieronymus Bunch, and Chaos Magic is my school of specialization! Chaos is the magic of the unexpected, the unusual, the unpredictable! It defies logic, and turns things downside up. Anything and everything you can imagine can be found in chaos, except order. Order is boring. You don't want to find that. We'll talk more later, I'm sure. Or am I? Greetings, young wizard. I am Professor Thaddeus Price, professor of Tempest Magic. I suppose you're interested in learning something about Tempest magic, right? Tempest magic is about duality and hidden meaning. Like the tide, it's about the ebb and flow of life. The surface is stormy to be sure, but beneath it is dark and quiet and the waters are deep beyond imagining. I gather they teach a slightly different approach at Ravenwood, but I'm fairly certain that here we have it right. Greetings, O oh honored guest from Wizard City. I am Professor Anku, your humble servant and guide to Ember Magic. Ember Magic is about warmth and security. In the cold dark of the spiral, Ember is like a warm rock to stretch out on. Wizards who study Ember Magic are not very adventuresome and prefer the comforts of hearth and home. Ember wizards are crafters, doctors, and cooks, using flame to forge artifacts, treat injuries, or bake cookies. So from the ember we can learn much. Better to be safe and patient than to leap into action. I hope that explains things. Well, hello there, my little friend. What brings you here? You want to learn about frost magic? You should talk to someone who knows then. Oh, that would be me. Caught me off guard, you did. Right. Where was I? I am Professor Quentin Purple at your service. You may have surmised that I am not from around these parts. I teach Pigswick Academy students about the nature of frost. Frost is fleeting and quick. A fragile and delicate thing. It appears rarely, but when it does, it forms crystals of amazing beauty and complexity. Frost is like magic in that. Do you understand frost magic now? Because I'm afraid I don't know more than that. I'm behind in my lesson preparation. Why, hello there, young wizard. You have the look of a newcomer to Pigswick Academy. Welcome to my laboratory. I am Professor Velma Pepper, and I teach the magic of equilibrium. My school represents bringing order to the spiral. The natural world is full of confusion and disorganization, and thus it is the role of the equilibrium wizard to create harmony. We must use whatever tools we have in this important duty. All are equal, so long as they perform the task at hand. I trust that what I've taught you instills a semblance of order to your own worldview. Now, though, I must return to work. Who dares disturb me? Hmm, you must be here for the tournament, eh? Another of those tiresome Meet the Professor's tours. Let me introduce myself, then. I am Professor Ed 
Edna Fulogen, and I instruct Pigswick students in spirit magic. Spirit magic concerns the ghostly state that exists after life. We are students of the immaterial world. I've heard of problems with Professor Malastare back at Ravenwood. Maybe his assistant Dwargan will be better. Did the tour of our faculty help repair the inadequacies of your prior education? Perhaps when the tournament is over, you can transfer from Ravenwood to Pigswick and really learn something. I've heard that at Ravenwood, they teach you that the source of all magic is a tree, and it's in the center of your school. How awfully convenient that must be. Do they really expect you to believe such nonsense? At Pigswick Academy, we recognize that the source of all magic is a fountain, not a tree, and it's right here on campus. If you take a look at the fount of magic, you'll see the error of your ways. It's in the center of campus, not far from here. When you're finished, return here and let me know what you've observed. You're a student, so go on, learn something. You examine the fount of magic. Looks like any other fountain. Something doesn't add up about this place. Do you notice anything magical about the fount? I mean, surely you saw how it must be the one true source of magic. You know, we heard from Headmaster Ambrose that you were good at solving problems. I have a mind to put that to use. Go and speak with Captain O'Hare outside the gate to Pegasus Place. Tell him I sent you and that you're there to help. Sorry, no admittance. Pegasus Place is off limits to students and faculty until further notice. Headmistress Crisp sent you. I'm not sure. If you're anything like the students here, I can't see how that will help. Still, if she vouches for you, then who am I to argue? Let me explain the problem and you see what you can do. Pegasus Place has been taken over by a fierce band of goblins. We don't know where they came from or how to send them back. You'd be doing us a favor if you could jump in and thin the wood goblins' ranks. Make them think twice about staying. Can you go into Pegasus Place and defeat six wood goblins and return to me when you're done? Be careful in there.